It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Jesus is no good. He's done no good for 500 years. He is the way, the truth, and the life. What did Muhammad do that was good? He killed innocent Jews. He's the only way to heaven. And he raped and slaved black women and black people that There we go. There we go. Your prophet, your so called prophet. So Jesus is good now. He didn't enslave me. Correct. Jesus didn't enslave me. No, your prophet did, though. Jesus yeah. was good now, eh? Jesus was good, eh? Where you going? So Jesus was good. I'll probably stay and wait for them. When you're next here, are you, are you going to come? He's the only way to heaven. He's the only way to heaven. Religion will take you to hell. Jesus. He's the only way to heaven. He said, Muhammad will take you to hell. But Jesus will take you to heaven. Amen. It's all about Jesus. He's the only way to God. If you don't have Jesus, you'll never get to God. Hold on, hold on. God is the only way to God. I'm going to prove that to you. Kissing a black stone will not forgive you of your sin. Kissing a black stone will not forgive you of your sin. Do you know there's a place called heaven? Kissing a black stone is a pagan practice. Do you know there's a place Jesus is the only way to God. It's a gay night. Thank God for Jesus. He's the only way. Muhammad will take you to hell, but Jesus will take you to heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father but by me. That's what Jesus said. Do not follow a man. Do not follow a man who married a six-year-old girl. Do not follow a man who married a six-year-old girl. Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the light of the world. It's all about Jesus. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and life to the full. That's why Jesus came. Thank God for Jesus. Says, this is what Jesus says. He said, truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you can say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Okay. And how would you respond to that? I, I, the way I respond to that is thank God. Fantastic. But, but these people are being deluded into believing that they receive what they asked for in prayer. Yeah, they're not being deluded. That's what Jesus said. Yeah, but who wants another one? No, 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 no. Stick with that one. Stick with that one. Don't, don't, don't skip to another one. Stick with that one. What's the problem with that? Uh, the problem with that is that people uh, are, are left in a state of uh, incapacity. I'm not in a state of incapacity. Uh, and I believe that. No, 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 no. Answer my, answer my point. I'm not in a state of incapacity. Why? Because you've learned about your religion. You didn't. You didn't come. I believe what you've just what you've just read. You've read the words of Jesus. I believe it. And I'm not in a state of incapacity. So what are you talking about? Uh, what I'm talking about is that you. You, the reason you're here, the reason you have a voice, is that you learned scripture. You didn't exactly pray and say, you know, please, please, God, can you? Uh, give you're skipping me the onto an, of, you're skipping onto something else now. You, you, mentioned, you, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned that verse there, and you said the problem with that verse. People are in a state of incapacity. I believe that verse, and I'm not in a state of incapacity. Therefore, let me finish. Therefore, that disproves what you've just said. 
No, but the, the reason you, the reason you have the voice that you have is because you read books and you decided to get up in the morning and come to speak as But I've just, I've just disproved what you've just said. You didn't pray. What, you what, didn't pray. What, what, you, what you've said is just like complete nonsense. But you, did you pray that, to come here? You, you made the decision. You, of your, that's your self-determination. You're not speaking sense, my friend. You need Jesus. Was it self-determination? You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Can you, can you, can you need Jesus. Can you answer my question? No, I answered your question. Was it prayer? You, no, no. You, I, I answered your point. I answered your point. I answered your point. My answer was that I'm not in a state of incapacity. Because you that's learned, because of your that, you that's my answer to your point. So why? Therefore, why is it, why, therefore, why therefore, if, uh, if you want to, if you want to just talk and talk, you can carry on. I'll, I'll, you, I'll no, 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 no. I'll just leave you talking because you've just made a point, and I've just proved it's palpable nonsense, and that's the end of that. So why? Why is now you're going to talk more nonsense? Okay. So why is why is we, we don't have time for nonsense? Why is religion? We're here talking about Jesus. Okay, but you why, need Jesus. My question is. No, I've answered why, your point. Why, why is religiosity inversely? I've answered related? your point. I've answered your point, and I'm not going to listen to another point of nonsense. You need Jesus. If you were to, to die tonight, do you know where you're going? If I to die tonight. Your soul, your spirit. Do you know where you're going? I'm confident we'll go to heaven, whether or not. Why I would you go to heaven? It would, it would have nothing to do with whether I or not I believed in Jesus. So what does it have to do with? Nothing. Have nothing to do with whether or not. What I determines believe. whether you go to heaven or don't go to heaven? Whether or not you've done good by by God. Done good by God. What what does that mean? Doing good by in God. God's, in God's eye, if you've done good, then you you are entitled. What, to it, what, what what is good? Good is uh, making sure uh, that, for example. Uh, we live in peace and harmony with one another, that uh, we, we're all loving one another. So why, why then would Jesus stipulate that you have to believe that he is God? No, I said, what is good? Okay, now, which God are you talking about for a start? I'm talking about the creator of the universe. Okay, and the creator of the universe, is that the God of the Bible? Uh, the creator of the universe is the... Is the Monotheistic. It's, it's basically the creator of every monotheistic religion. Is it the God of Moses? Yes. Okay, so it's the God of Moses you're talking about here. Now, so, and you talk about doing good, which is fine about doing good. Now, obviously, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, yes? Uh, but why would he say, thou shalt did not. God, did God give Moses the Ten Commandments? I don't believe so. No. Okay, okay. So you say about the, how do you know about the God of Moses? The God, I don't know. In, in scriptures, the God, the God of Moses, the God of Moses gave gave him the Ten Commandments in scriptures. Okay. Egyptian. You said your God is the God of Moses. So how do you know it's the God of Moses? Uh, because I believe that Moses was a prophet, but I don't believe that. He, everything he said was true. I don't believe he was perfect. So, okay, so you can select. So you know what Moses did and what was true and what Moses didn't do. So you know that. You, you're the one who determines that. I, I know by looking at the Ten Commandments that most of it is true. Most of, okay. Not all of it. Well, okay, the Ten Commandments. Which ones are, the, are from God and which ones are not from God? The, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Okay. Uh, I don't believe that one should... That's two. Rip. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not... One? Steel. Steel. Okay, that's two. We've got eight more to go. I want to know which ones are not from God. Uh, thou shalt not covet your neighbor's oxen. That's not from God, no? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, that's one. Any, any others not from God? Uh, thou shalt not work on the Sabbath. Okay, that's not from God either. I don't, I don't believe so. Okay, so that's two. So uh, you believe in eight commandments rather than ten. Is that what you believe in? Uh, no, no, I'm asking you. We're, we're, we're working it out. We're going to that... I'm, I'm asking you. If, if you, I believe in a maximum of eight commandments. A maximum of eight commandments. Have yes. you broken any of commandments? Uh, I'm sure I have, yes. Okay, so you have broken a commandment. Okay, so therefore, so you're guilty of breaking God's law. Okay. I don't believe that even no one said anyone's perfect. Right. I'm, just, I'm just asking you, because you, you're the one talking about going to heaven. About You're fully entitled because you're good. That's what you said. All right, so I'm asking now about the breaking of God's law. 
So you've broken God's law. So what do you do to rectify that issue? Uh, the way I do it is to try and do more good things than bad things. Okay, so does that negate you breaking God's law? Uh, no, I can still break God's law. No, I no. Try, I can try not to. Oh, you can try not to, but you've broken, you've already said, past tense, you've broken God's law. I'm asking you, what's the situation concerning breaking God's law? How do you rectify that issue? Uh, I, I, what I can try and do is to try and save lives, for example. Is there any, is there anything in the, in the Ten Commandments saying save a life? It doesn't say save a life. Okay, and, and does that absolve you from breaking God's law? I believe that if I save more lives than I, uh, than I kill, then uh, I could probably go to heaven. Yeah, so you're making this up. You, all this is just you making up. You're making up your own little religion here. Uh, of course you are. You've been, it's, you've been it's, selective it's with the scriptures. You believe in eight commandments rather than ten. Right. You've admitted that you've broken the, some of the eight commandments. Probably when I was a child, yes. Yeah. Uh, and what about as an adult? I don't, I don't Bearing it. false witness. Have you ever done that? Ever told a lie? Uh, false witness. Have you told a lie, yes or no? Yes. Yes. As an adult, have you told a lie? Yes. Good, there we go. So there you go. That's the third commandment you've broken. So let's forget about being a child. As an adult, you've broken God's law. And you're right, that no one's perfect. Everyone's broken God's law. The only one who never broke God's law is Jesus. He's the only one who never broke God's law. You've broken it, I've broken it. How do we rectify the issue of breaking God's law without Jesus? Because you said you can get to heaven without Jesus. How do you rectify that problem? To get to heaven without Jesus is to learn. How do you rectify the breaking of God's law? If I break the law of the land, and I'm before a judge in a court of law, I can promise to do all the good work for every, the rest of my days. It doesn't address the problem of the law that I've broken. Same with God's law. His law is even higher than the law of the land. If you've broken his law, there's a punishment for breaking the law. And what's the punishment for you? If you, if you, if you dismiss Jesus, what's the punishment for you? How do you rectify that problem? I don't believe that there's any punishment. Your, your belief is that there is punishment. Well, I, 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 take this for, I take this from the same place that you claim that Moses, that the God of Moses is your God. I only learn about Moses from the scriptures, from the Old Testament. That's where I learn it from. I don't pick and choose what I like and what I dislike. Either it's true or it's not true. So Jesus... No, no, either, either it's true. So let's not skip on. I'm asking you, how do you rectify the problem that you've broken the commandments of God? The way I rectify it is by trying to make amends. So. I've already addressed that issue about making amends. You can't make amends. If I break the law of the land, it doesn't make amends for me breaking the law. But the, that's, what I'm, that's why I go back to the point that I made earlier, which is that the Ten Commandments don't actually specify good. It's all about evil. Why, why couldn't it say, uh, save a life, rather than just, you can't kill? Why can it say, you can, you're... Uh, it's, it's got the Ten Commandments, isn't it? Just, uh, well, they believe that you can go to hell. Right. Yeah. I mean, they used to make sacrifices when lambs and sheep, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The blood of the earth took away their sins. Stop doing it. But yes, that's the problem. That's the problem with religion, though, because it doesn't. It doesn't. It rectified it with the blood of Jesus. And that's because that's because Jesus said the only way to God is through me. But where, but where is the proof for that? He says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father." But truly, so how did he know that God was the Father? How did he know? None of us know. But how did he know? Because it was his Father. Because God was his Father. How do we know? The Father sent Jesus through the Holy Spirit. He was born from a woman. Like you and me. She was not dumb, Buddha. 
Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. She had a husband. Yeah. Don't waste time. Right, and she was a working way. She was a being raped. She was raped. Don't waste time. And you were Joseph. And you were Joseph. And you were Joseph. Take her away. She was raped by the bloody Roman. She wasn't raped. You do ignorant people. You don't read your Bible. Come on. You don't read your Bible. Read your Bible. I don't have to read your Bible. I don't have to read I don't have to read I'm scared for you. I'm scared for you, friend. I'm scared for you, friend. I am scared for you. I'm scared for you. I'm scared for you. Being a senior, being a man of a senior age, I'm scared for you that you're going to die believing that. I'm scared for you. Call upon Jesus. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Ask, to, ask Jesus to forgive you.